good afternoon students welcome back now in continuation with the last lecture now we are going to see the second part that is system development process of design flow use in the identification of each pattern now here you can see the overall design process can be divided into the following three phases that is specification system development and foundry okay now for uh, understanding better understanding we will uh, directly go into the system development process that is the architecture so this is the diagram which represents the system development process now as you can see in this diagram the three phases are clearly marked with the dotted line the specification system development and the foundry phase okay now one by one we will see how these uh, sub systems will help us in the uh, system development process now the first phase is the specification phase models of architecture patterns and the components are developed and verified over here okay now please concentrate on the diagram uh, you can see over here in the first phase that is the specification phase we are able to see the architecture patterns and the components which are getting developed and verified now moving further these developed components are annotated with the verified properties and the constraints that must be satisfied for those properties to hold okay so the components you can see in the diagram uh, as new patterns are identified they will be formally modeled and the key properties will be specified these constraints may include the external environment of the system as you can see in the diagram the physical system being controlled and the interfaces with the other system so you can see in the diagram the annotated and verified models are shown the component library and the pattern specific library is also shown the resulting annotated models of the system architecture pattern and the components are published in the form of library for consumption by the system development phase so now moving towards the second phase that is the system development you can see this middle portion is the system development now in this system development phase architecture patterns are instantiated to create a system model that means now starting at the relatively high level of abstraction a system architecture is created and instantiated from the library to create the initial system model now once that initial system model as you can see in the diagram it is a repetitive process as the arrow shows it is a system development is a repetitive process so this model is then refined by the repeated application of the design pattern uh, and the manual modeling to create detail system design okay now once this has been achieved at the appropriate level of refinement requirements for the system model itself are formalized and mechanically verified as you can see over here the instantiation is shown and a cyclic process is also shown with the task number uh, particularly shown in the uh, and finally the third phase that is the uh, foundry phase uh, is where the system is implemented now you can see in the foundry phase in the third phase the automated generation of the system and system implementation is done so this is how the particular uh, 
what you can say the system development process of design flow used to identify each pattern okay thank you